What is IPR? IPR is a procedure where part of the enamel is removed from the mesial distal side of teeth to break the contacts and create space in crowded areas to properly align the teeth. It is a simple and safe procedure when performed correctly. Here is what is needed for the IPR procedure. IPR sheet that will guide you on where and when to perform IPR. Interdental strips, diamond discs, interdental strips mounted on a handpiece, diamond burrs, gauges, interdental polishing strips, and fluoride varnish. The first step before doing IPR should always be checking the contact points with a floss. After that, create access for the interdental strip by opening the contact using a thin interdental strip. Now we can proceed with performing IPR. Let's say 0.3 IPR is needed for this contact. Start the stripping gradually. Take the 0.1 strip, hold it properly with your fingers, and start sawing between the teeth from the incisal edge towards the gingiva. Check with the 0.1 IPR gauge by sliding it in the contact. Now take the 0.2 strip and do the same process. Check with the 0.2 IPR gauge. Notice how it is being forced in the contact? This means that more stripping is needed. Strip with the same size again, recheck, and ensure the appropriate amount is done. Finally, take the 0.3 strip and follow the same steps as previously done. Let's explore the other available options to perform IPR. The first one is going to be interdental strips mounted on a handpiece. This system is fast, convenient, accurate, and you can adjust it depending on which tooth you are doing IPR to. Second option, diamond discs are always user-friendly, but it is advised to use it with a guard to prevent any soft tissue injury. And finally, IPR performed using burrs. Place the burr perpendicular on the tooth buccally and start moving from the gingival to the occlusal side until you reach the tooth lingually. The smallest reduction done using a burr is 0.3 to 0.4 millimeters. Be cautious when using it to avoid forming any ledges and also not to injure the soft tissues. When doing IPR, make sure you are performing it in the correct axis to avoid forming any ledges. After doing the IPR, take polishing interdental strips and smoothen the contacts. The final step is to apply fluoride on the teeth to avoid any sensitivity. Here are some tips when performing IPR. Always be careful not to injure the patient by doing proper cheek and tongue retraction. Make sure the contact point is accessible and always check with the floss that the contact is properly open to avoid forming any ledges. When performing IPR to a young patient, be cautious to avoid pulp exposure because of the teeth's large pulp chambers. Be aware of overstripping by always measuring and keeping track of the IPR done.